Hi, welcome to Let's Fly VFR. So you've just gone out and bought a new shiny notebook, a new shiny computer, but you run out of money when it comes to buying a joystick and pedals. Well, let's use one of these and fly X-Plane 11 and have just as much fun until you get some more money. Let's go. Welcome to Let's Fly VFR. All in X-Plane 11. Props, jets and much more. All done in real world weather. Let's make it as real as possible every fly. Subscribe, like and leave me a comment. Look forward to hearing from you. Well, welcome to the cockpit. Now let's go for a bit of a fly. As you can see there, um, I'm moving around the yoke with my uh, mouse and everything else now uh, as you can see on the screen there we have all the controls so if you want to pause and just write down some if you don't have them then you'll be able to do that now I'm just going to use the yoke um, and the mouse together we're going to go a little bit haywire when it comes to the rudder side um, I'm pretty sure there's an auto rudder setting um, but at the time of making this I hadn't I hadn't gone and had a look to be honest so if you can find that um, I'm, I'm sure you'll be fine and that'll help you with the steering won't be quite as realistic but um, it'll give you the opportunity to fly around and that's what it's all about isn't it? having a bit of fun so quickly on the controls or everything that's green here you can adjust you can control with your mouse just by holding your finger down on the left mouse button information echo so we've got uh, the ATIS up and running here at Parafield Airport in South Australia. We can open and close doors and you can bring Austin with you if you like. If you click down on the uh, little, what we call the glove box in Australia, uh, down on the bottom right there. So you can have him and put him up on the, the dash if you like. So, so let's give this a bit of a run. Now remember throttle F1 and F2. Uh, mixture F5, F6, prop, uh, which we don't need here, I believe is F3 and F4. I'm having a bit of a guess there, I'm pretty sure it will be. Flaps, uh, number two, number one will be up and down notches, although you can still click on it if you want to and just drag them down a notch. So holding the mouse down, mouse button, and uh, just adding some throttle there with the keys. So as you can see, um, I'm going to cheat a bit, or I've got my rudder pedals on, so... But, yeah, I didn't go and find that setting, but it'll be there, guys, it'll be there, so... Go have a look, and um, you'll be fine. But let's uh, have a bit of fun as we take off, and just do a quick circuit, uh, see how I go. I can't expect it being a great landing. Um, I think we might need a bit of uh, four-wheel driving for once we get off the ground, but we'll see how it goes. You can turn your sensitivities down. Um, I'll show you that right at the very end. So hang around for that and I'll show you where that is, as well as turning the green on and off as well. Once you know it's operational, you don't need to leave it on, but it's in your main screen. There's just one little tick box. So let's uh, start a little bit of a left turn on our upwind. Now doesn't the scenery look good? I'm, I'm really impressed with it at the moment. Um, if you saw my last week's uh, video, I did make notice of how to go um, and adjust your colours. Something I got from uh, Michael at X-Force PC. Um, they're closely linked with um, Austin and the X-Plane community. So if you're buying a, a, uh, a new computer, um, they certainly do a lot of videos for them if you're in the States. Uh, not sponsored by anyone, just, just saying. They had some really good info. And it's made the uh, the whole, what I thought was a little washed out views, um, nice and vibrant and uh, really good. Very happy with it. So um, check out last week's uh, little guide to the colours and see what you think. So we can, we're not doing too bad, are we, flying? We've got uh, got it trimmed out reasonably. A little bit uh, needs a little bit more nose down trim. Really, there we go. First stage of flap. It's going to balloon a little. 
push down a little so remember just hold down your mouse button and just gently forward back left and right just scroll it left and right to get your rolls so we're turning in over uh, Main North Road or we, you are about to the road on the right there that's Bridge Road in Adelaide um, quite a busy thoroughfare as well Ooh, we're a bit wonky but okay we're on uh, finish the downwind we're turning left base Coming across where I used to work, down there at Century 21. A big hi to the guys down there. Hope you're all doing well. Great bunch of people. You can sponsor me if you like, Greg. <laughs> okay, here we go. And I've undercut as normal, so um, that's okay. It's better than over over turning it and having to try and pull it back so this is going to be a little high by the look of it so let's yeah, not too bad not too bad there's a little bit of a right crosswind so let's see how we go and go shopping there at Bunnings which is just over on the left there's a whole lot of stuff there here we go coming in now the rudder is going to be a little bit of an issue because I might be able to hold it straight but it's not so hard is it and this is my first time I haven't done this at all before okay it's my first real circuit oh, we've stalled it in you missed the runway but I'm sure you'll do much better than me with a um, with a bit of practice now I'll sh I said I'll show you how to turn down the um, sensitivities and um, likely where the uh, the rudder is as well so i hope you found this really helpful I'm about to duck into the screen so you can have a look so there's the tick for the green selectable areas that's fine sound there's my graphics currently networks don't need data output again if you want to check your frames per second just click that one and they'll come up so here's my normal joystick but there's some control sensitivities down here um, I suggest if you bring them all back to the middle, um, you probably find the whole world a lot less simpler. So see you soon. Bye. Subscribe, like, and leave me a comment. Look forward to hearing from you.